psychology almost a modern way of understanding the mind like you're talking? Yes, psychology is another way of understanding. But uh, if but even in psychology, it does not propose people people who are suffering from mental diseases to understand the mind. They just try to give some cue physically and certain advices to that particular incident. They are not revealing the full secrets of the mind because they have not studied it, maybe. So what you have to do is that if you want to be psychologically fit, you have to understand the chemistry of the mind. Right? Once you are thorough with the user manual, you will be untouched. There is no magic here. If you do hours of meditations, closed eye, seated meditation, it will not help you to understand the mind. Yes. How do we get the user's manual? The user manual is in you. And my user manual is in me. But there is a good part. There is no difference between the chemistry of your mind and my mind. So if I have read the user manual of mine, I am in the capacity and I am in the position to reveal those secrets to you. Do you understand? So once I reveal the secret, two things will happen. Because now you have already had the experiences with your emotions. So when I say certain things at this session, Maybe you might have already come across this thing. You will get this thought. Aha! This is what he was talking about. I have experienced this. Haven't you got that? Then, that means, your, with, my, with the knowledge that I transfer to you, you get it with experience because you have previously experienced it. But certain things that I am revealing right now, you have no experience yet. But after this, this session, you will go back to your life and you will engage in your day-to-day -day activities and you will experience something. Then you will recall, aha, this is the one he was talking about. That is how I can help you to read your own user manual. Because your user manual and my user manual is one and the same. Do you understand? Yes. Is loneliness a thing? Is it unique to individual? Is there any common ground, common elements or things of the community? Now, as I said, your mind and my, my, my mind from chemistry it is one and the same. Right? So the emotions that your mind express and the emotions that my mind express also one and the same. Right? So the noble silence or the loneliness that I am talking about right? where the status of mind which, ha which is untouched from any externities it is also one and the same. So the noble silence or the loneliness that you are going to reach, you are going to accept one day and the noble silence and the loneliness that I am going to accept one day will be one and the same. That is why the people say that all these religions are connected from one point. So your loneliness and my loneliness are the same. Yes. So I do not have my Oh. Well, you will have your own loneliness as long as you separate yourself from the rest. Did you understand that? I will give you like, I t I'll tell, give you an example. Now, you have a name, I have a name. You have a set of data about your identity and I have a set of data of my identity. So, we are going to play a game. I am going to throw out each of my identities to the floor and you are also going to throw out all the, each of your identities to the floor in front. That means you are losing that particular identity, I am also losing that particular. I am throwing my name out, you will also throw your name out. 
That is one of the major identities that we have. And I am a Sri Lankan. That is an identity. You are an American. That is one of your identities. You are going to throw it out. Likewise, we are going to throw out all the identities that we have to identify ourselves out. If we do not have any identities as such remaining inside, who are you and who am I? <coughs> that is the loneliness I am talking about. You and me are at noble silence at that point. So therefore, you didn't answer my question. Is loneliness Sometimes unique? I do that. <laughs> is loneliness unique to an individual or is it common? To no, it's one and same. Oh. You have answered. Yes. I'm still struggling in my head to understand the difference between this uh, untouched and emotions. For me, I can't. If you say untouched, I imagine no emotions. Is that the same thing? Don't struggle. <laughs> Stop struggling. I like to struggle. Now, I just drank a sip of water from this glass. It has a different taste. Right? I will describe it using many terminology. Will you ever understand the taste? No, no. no unless I've experienced the same taste. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you drink a sip of water. Then you will understand. Until that, don't struggle from there to assume what is the taste of this water. It will be a struggle. Yes. This may be a play of words. For me, I think there is a difference between loneliness and solitude. I don't know if they are synonymous to you, but for me, loneliness has a negative implication. To me, it implies that you want company, and you, but you cannot get it, so you feel lonely. But when I feel with solitude, it's something that I actively seek to be away from the others. Good point. I will propose something. So you just erase the memory about loneliness. You use the word solitude. Even though we are talking about one and the same. You can use any word you want. As like the taste of this water. I can use either call this taste as loneliness, you can call it as lo solitude, one can call it as heaven, one can call it as paradise, one can call it as nirvana, one can call it as noble silence, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That is what has happened here. All of us are seeking for something, but we are using different terminologies, it doesn't matter. It's not wrong. Because this language is so primitive in front of this huge mechanism. It's so primitive, it's very difficult to describe the chemistries. I'm trying to use the best possible words to describe this chemistry. Now let's say, when I say anger, do I do a justification to that? Anger is a feeling. Right? Now, I will teach you some other secret about the mind. In your mind, you have thoughts, don't you? You have thoughts. And in your mind, you have emotions. What is the difference between thoughts and emotions? For me, thoughts are like words in my head. Emotions have no words. Thumbs up. Thoughts are always associated with the language. Emotions will never be associated with the language. So thoughts, that's what I'm talking right now. But emotions, it's very difficult to explain. Now let's say I have burnt my hand. I can express the pain, but would you ever feel the pain? No. You Would you ever feel the pain that I am undergoing? No. Do you understand? 
so don't give much value to words words are so primitive words can only describe the level of thoughts in your mind there is another level that's the emotional emotion level that emotion level is the most closest place to noble silence not your thought thoughts level thoughts level is like now if you take the sea right the deep sea at the top you will find currents waves there will be typhoons right but when you go into deep what will you find tranquility it will never be touched from the wind no waves still water thick still dark water your mind is also like that the levels of thought is where you find all these waves they are where you struggle to ride your boat if you just go some some a little bit into depth there is no struggle to row your boat but you need a submarine that is the level where the emotions are then you can go to far further down that is where the noble silence is now there's a huge problem with this this language because now when i i i, I am a very active person on social media so i put posts using words right now recently you know yesterday was a hindu uh, religious day mahashivaratri right it's been dedicated to lord shiva so i i put a message on my facebook profile where gautam buddha has resorted to to resorted to the term shiva in his one of his discourses right so he says if you follow this particular path you will finally build you will finally a company with shiva right so then there was a huge uproar from the local buddhists i am preaching hinduism wearing a robe a single word can touch thousands of minds just think how powerful i am in sri lanka i am the most powerful person in sri lanka i can burn thousands heads from a simple word that is where you will end up if you just ride your boat on the surface you are struggling with thoughts so i feel so sorry about those people but can't help so once you master your mind you will be the most powerful being in the universe you can touch all these minds only if you want because the desire to touch external things have already gone once you have understood your mind you will do it only for the purpose of revealing the truth to them to letting them to understand the reality yes how to create the verbal mindfulness the linguistic mindfulness i'll teach you now i i told you you have a discrimination from inside about the emotions good emotions and bad emotions so that is applied to a certain depth of your sea now you're talking about the shallow in that also you have a discrimination good words and bad words you have given different values to each word now if you are being addressed as my lady 
you're so happy if one been addressed as a fool will be dissatisfied what is the reason for that different values been given to different words so understand that that is also a secret of the mind that is a habit of our mind we are giving different values to different words now if i call you in filth in singhalese will you ever understand but it is still filth you will laugh now if you go to an infant and say if you scold at an infant would he cry he will laugh because their mind has not been evolved to the level where they give different values to different words so if you are big, if you are made upset by somebody's statement that means you have given a different value to that don't you like that where there weren't there wasn't any stress your everything what you need was taken care by the nature you did not think about what you're going to have tomorrow morning i think that is the best place to be everyone of us wants to go back to our childhood we can go there once i was when i was uh, here at this center i was addressed from a very bad word using a very bad word mm, there is no english term for that <laughs> let's say i was addressed as a fool somebody told me you are a fool i said yes i am a fool i just accepted that fact Why do I think I am wise? If I have an opinion that I am wise only and if I reject the fact that I am a fool only his word can make me upset. Right? So what was your thinking about how being called fool? I was actually thinking frankly I was thinking yes I have done a lot of foolish things in my life. So there's a point for his <laughs> addressing right why should i call now i have done lot of foolish things in those moments i was not wise so i am a fool yes and i i'm i look at myself if i look at myself wise what about the moments i was doing foolish things and if i am looking at myself as a fool what about the moments that i was talking wise things i am a mixture of both that is me i am a mixture of both anger and compassion I do not form an opinion I just I would use this word I do not know what the hell I am I can be everything Is it in another words you I I didn't quite get up your last sentence so you say you know is it are you telling are you telling say you know who you are or I in the same time i say i don't know who i am because if i say if i know who i am it's an opinion okay it based on data which i have i'm just recycling old garbage if i say i don't know who i am it's another recycling process of old garbage so that's my question what exactly did you think when people status of no opinion no opinion So that's pretty much the reaction to everything. That's just an example. Well, if if I am capable of doing that, I'm successful. Yeah. Because that means I'm untouched from any expression, from any angry face, from any word. I'm untouched. I have not poured my happiness to anybody else from inside. irrespective of all the things bad things being called to me i am untouched how long took you to get near that point 
uh, it it depend on two things the first thing is you should meet somebody where you have to be advised about how to do it secondly it depends on you whether you have enough wisdom to understand what he is saying you might meet someone who is capable of teaching you but if you are not wise enough you will understand we will not understand a single word sometimes you will have enough wisdom but you will not meet the proper teacher two things can things be good and bad at the same time it's always like that when something is good bad is also been created this world always work on a duality that's what i see when you that has been told physically it was identified by uh, newton isaac newton every action has a reaction that observation is correct not only to the physical world even to the non physical world if you generate a positive energy even without your knowledge even without an effort a negative energy will also been create will be created now if let's say you have a rubber band i have a rubber band if i pull one end to one side the the tension will not only be in this hand you will feel the tension in this hand also it's something like that if i am to say another example let's say there is a flat terrain you want to uh bore a hole so your boring hole and you're putting soil out and keeping next to it once you have a pit you have a soil mound next to it do you understand so part of your own personal knowledge that has to be aware of both the good and the bad that happens in your life at each point How my create some of that yourself well now if somebody perfectly understand the duality he doesn't have to think about it he knows whatever i do something been created from behind you have to come into that understanding that's all it's not a mantra to chant each and every day it's an understanding but what happened you never met a teacher a chance yeah the wiser person and, and no matter how you met it you think will meditation will not take you anywhere okay you, you, so you do need to have those uh, two things two things but i'm thinking if you never met that so unfortunate okay you have to seek yes you have to seek you will find they are everywhere they are everywhere don't stop the search that's why people are doing this search why do you think you travel too much you are searching for something that teacher is happiness he is not he might be a person or he might not be a person what you seek for is happiness that could be the combination of your experience could it be possible sorry instead of you say physical person could it be the combination of your experience, experience yes yeah. self enlightenment it yeah. can happen yeah okay now I'll tell you why it can happen now do you think you can hear me you cannot hear me what you hear from me is just a sound wave when i utter a word it touches your membrane in your ear and it will trigger your nerves and it will open your own data your own language i'm just passing a sound wave what you understand will depend on your database you will never come into the same understanding that i have just by hearing me if your database and my database is one and the same then you will understand what i say so i know that so i don't expect anybody to understand what i say i have no expectation as such that's the first thing i mastered i'm dealing with different data Now, Paul, being mindful, 
Well, um, I cannot uh, criticize without uh, analyzing what they teach and what they preach. Because, but I know it's very rare to find out the message that we tell you. Because here there is no activity for you to do. What we propose you to understand your own mind. That you can do it while you work, while you eat. That is the mindfulness that we want. We don't want to put you into an artificial effort. To be mindful in your activities. No. Just let your life flow as usual. Do not change anything. If you are an alcoholic, just because I said so, don't stop drinking. That's useless. Once you understand your mind, you will find out what is important for you. Then you will do what is, what is best for you. This is not because just I say. I don't change your life. So you talk about finding someone to help teach you. Do you look at that from everybody around you in your life? Or do you talk about really getting a specific person that you can talk to? Everyone will not be wise enough to teach you. But if you are wise enough, if you have a lot of wisdom, maybe every moment in your life will be a teacher for you. Right? But that level of wisdom is very rare in this world. Wisdom means not anything magic. Wisdom means the attention that you give inwardly. Now when you are being mistreated by a staff member in Marriott or by a member in your tour staff, you will always give the blame to him. So you are always giving attention to the outside personality. You will never look into what is wrong inside me. If you look into what is inside you, very often, that means you are very wise. If you do it less often, that means your wisdom is less. That is wisdom. Wisdom is not magic. If you are wise, you will not blame the outside world. Explain the difference between wisdom and knowledge. In knowledge, you are always giving attention to the outside world. You are studying science. Science of what? Moon. Science of sun. Science of galaxies. Science of stars. Science of maths. Knowledge. External knowledge. Gathering. And something which is not your own experience. As long as it is not your experience, it will keep as knowledge. Even the spiritual things that I utter here, if it is not within your experience range, it will go there as a knowledge. Do you understand? Because it is not something which feels to you. Is wisdom built on knowledge? Wisdom... No, I don't think wisdom will build on knowledge. Wisdom is something different from knowledge. It depends on the level of effort that you have given to look inside. Only mindfulness will help you to trigger your wisdom. So where do we get wisdom? If, if wisdom, we, we have wisdom, do we, do we born with wisdom? Or do we acquire as we live? How do we have wisdom? Does it just come to us? Wisdom is there from your birth. And you can develop it. Uh, how do we develop that? It is by this discussion. Why? This discussion. This discussion is always about your mind. So you are not paying attention to anybody else. You are paying attention to your mind. If you pay attention more into your mind, your wisdom will develop. 
So his wisdom give us the sense what is good, what is bad, what is evil, what is not evil. Do they give this no. type of value or they just give me what? Only the knowledge will you give will give you that differentiation of bad and good values and invalues wisdom will not give you any discrimination you will not find anything to be discriminated only the knowledge will give values to different things in this world this is hard to understand i'll tell you i'll give an example now in sri lankan culture right in sri lanka being gay is illegal right and according to our cultural teachings from our upbringing itself we have been told being gay is bad it's a sin so it's a knowledge which have come to our mind that being gay lesbian transgender is is a sin so who created it who gave that negative value to being gay our knowledge from where did we get that knowledge from the society that we live in but there are certain countries their culture is different in those cultures the kids were never told that being gay is sin, is a sin so they don't have that negative value so they don't have that discrimination why the knowledge is different the knowledge will create the differences between our understandings is uh, the difference between the opposite of wisdom is that foolishness or something else yes you can use that term it's a bit nice word there are a lot of words so we said it's partly about understanding having a bigger understanding of the implications of your actions not about actions about your mind wisdom the, has nothing to do with actions So if, if if I have a decision to make and I'm wise I'll make a decision that will have a good outcome if I'm foolish I'll make a decision which have a bad outcome or have any outcome we don't know so is that a different thing no. that I'm talking about you you will decide what to do based on your knowledge not on wisdom as i said in the first place wisdom is the attention that you give in- inwardly it doesn't take it doesn't let you to judge on anything or decide on anything to form an opinion inside it's just an understanding inside your activities the way you speak will ev- or will depend on the knowledge that you have whether you speak calmly or whether you speak angrily it depends on the way that you have been brought up by the society you know that right in certain places if if the family background is bad then the, they talk in a different way that is because they have been taught to do so that is the upbringing your activities will decided by the knowledge that you have wisdom is something different wisdom will only take you to noble silence it won't take you anywhere could it be possible a person has no wisdom uh maybe if the level of wisdom is so less it can be referred to as no wisdom can you tell that this person's wisdom level by talking to that person not exactly mm-hmm. but uh, generally yes if someone questions me about their own problem i know their wise if someone questions me about somebody else i know th- <laughs> the wisdom is less it's very easy so as i i was trying to tell you now 
the assistance that i can give you is that now as i told you what you have to do is to increase the level of understanding that you have about your mind so now you know that we record this session we do it for a particular purpose we have a collection of these records available on youtube in one of our channels where we describe where we discuss about the human mind and its secrets its chemistries in different ways because one cannot finish about talking this from a small session like this it's a this is a years and years of knowledge right there are thousands of thousands of secrets because sir, this, this mind has been evolved for centuries millennia so a lot of secrets inside so we try to reveal it gradually so those discussions are available on youtube so if you prefer if you think that i should give some time to read this use a manual so i propose you i suggest you once in a while once a month just listen to one discussion just listen to it and forget it and do whatever you want that's it right because i know this should be a natural process if mind is a natural process cleansing of the mind also should be a natural process as i told you from your bare hands you cannot stop waves but if the mother nature wants it can create tsunamis or either it can stop waves if the nature wants so make it a natural process just listen to it and forget it do engage in your regular activities and the those discussions will help you in this way as i said earlier once you listen to it you will get the idea aha this is something that i have experienced in my life thereafter it won't be a knowledge it will be one of one something that you have experienced or either the rest will go there as a knowledge don't worry about it don't try to remember even you live your life and the messenger will come to you and tell okay this is what you have been taught that day so isn't it good there's nothing to do no hard work no any extra effort do not struggle struggling giving an extra effort will not take you anywhere it might give you degrees phd's professional qualifications but not enlightenment this is a reverse path so do we have any more questions so okay so then we'll wind up the session so i would uh, i think that uh, this was a fruitful discussion for you was it okay right we will share our contact details and the links to our youtube channel because we have arranged a nice cup of cinnamon tea for you to enjoy uh, organic grown in our own plantations here at the center so if you come back to sri lanka you are invited you are most welcome to our center to pay a visit you can stay with us and learn more about the mind it's always a discussion and uh, also i would like to wish you a blissful life ahead and don't try to change your life and don't struggle with your emotions it's a natural phenomena let it pass in your countries there are seasonal changes now you are here because the winter is there when there is winter do not call for summer accept winter when you are in summer do not ask for winter accept summer right because natural phenomena that's the only thing that we can do so thank you very much for participating and i bless you all that you will one day will realize your mind and you will achieve this noble silence soon okay thank you very much thank you